What's up guys? We are in Mission Hills, San Diego. It's one of my favorite neighborhoods. Upscale neighborhood, just south of Mission Valley, San Diego River Valley, um, just north of downtown. Overlooks Old Town, Point Loma, downtown. Just an awesome little neighborhood. So as many of you know, I'm from San Diego, but I've lived in Los Angeles a large portion of my life. Um, I worked in the entertainment industry for over 10 years. And so when I was coming back to San Diego, I was driving through Mission Hills, it's like, this reminds me so much of Hollywood. Slender streets carved into the hillsides. They even have a Bird Street section of Mission Hills here, just like they do in the Hollywood Hills in the 90069 zip code. And Sunset Boulevard, just like Hollywood. We've got palm trees lining the street. It's really cool. So some quick history on Mission Hills. February 2nd, 1869, Captain Henry James Johnston bought the land here. So he was a steamship captain. Uh, of the SS Orizaba that he would take this thing down. It was actually kind of like the West Coast Mayflower because it was responsible for driving so many people from San Francisco to San Diego to develop the area. So he would pull into the bay and he'd always look up at this hill and he was like, I'm gonna buy that one day. And he eventually did. So real quickly, what do you think he bought 65 acres for? Let's wait, let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. $16.25, literally 25 cents an acre. Um, he immediately realized that was too much for his one home. So he sold half of the land to his first mate, Ormsby Height, and um, for $7.50. So Ormsby got a deal too, just pretty cool. So unfortunately, the captain never came to Mission Hills. Bought the land, left it to his wife, Ellen, who also never came to Mission Hills. She left it to her daughter, or their daughter, Sarah Johnson, Johnston Cox Miller, who built the first home, Villa Orizaba, after her father, um, and used some of the steamship's own pieces in the build, including the banister that's in the home, and it's still there today. So Sarah Johnston Cox Miller, her son, Henry Leverett Miller, in 1909, filed to change the subdivision name from Johnston Heights to Inspiration Heights. Uh, really just trying to make it a more marketable area. He graded this whole street. He changed it from Johnston Road to Sunset Boulevard, lined it with palm trees, um, really just to help make it a more vibrant area and, and really just to make a few bucks. So we're actually in Inspiration Heights right now, just coming off of Sunset Boulevard. That's the north boundary. The west boundary would be Witherby Street, and the east boundary would be St. James Place, just to kind of give you the uh, parameters there. Uh, but we're entering to the Orizaba uh, area where we'll be able to see a lot of historic homes. We're in kind of in the Mission Hills Historic District. Um, it's roughly near us, but there's over 174 homes that are in that district, and they're looking to continue to advance it. Mission Hills actually has a really eclectic architecture as well. Sometimes you'll go into a specific neighborhood and it's very focused on a particular time period. Maybe it's mid-century, maybe it's Spanish revival, maybe, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But here there's bungalows, there's prairie style homes, there's Spanish revival, there's, let me look at my notes here. There's mission revival, there's craftsmen, um, there's colonial revivals, and there's mid-centuries. There's a home I'm gonna show you here in a few other than Villa Orizaba. That's my favorite house in Mission Hills and one of my favorite homes in San Diego, designed by famous architect or famed architect Lloyd Ruoco, one of my favorite architects. And uh, it's on Pewterbus Street. So I won't say any more than that because I don't want to give any other information around about the house, but you can do your Googling and you can find it. But beautiful, we'll show you it here in just a minute. So I don't want to like be too intrusive here, but this is Villa Orizaba. It was made in 1887. They moved it in 1908 when, again, Henry Leverett Miller, he wasn't as big of a fan of the home, and uh, moved it and remodeled it. It's since been remodeled again, and but that's a piece of history, 1887. First home in Mission Hills. So Villa Orizaba is so cool because this is exactly what Captain Johnston was thinking about. So. It's the mid 1800s, the Orizaba's right there pulling into the bay. He's looking up on the hill at the top of the promontory and he's like, that's where I'm gonna build my house. He didn't do it, his wife didn't do it, but his daughter did. And then his grandson moved it there. 
So just, I don't know, I'm, I'm geeked out about it, but I think it's super cool. So another pioneer in the Mission Hills area is Kate Sessions. And you may have heard that name before because she's often referred to as the mother of Balboa Park, uh, which is just down the street as well. Um, so she, in addition to planting the majority of the vegetation at Balboa Park, also started the Mission Hills Nursery here that's still here today um, that is said to have started in 1910, but many think it started a few years prior. And so now we're gonna go check out the Lloyd Rocco designed home that I mentioned earlier, my favorite house in Mission Hills, and one of my favorite homes in San Diego in general. It's on Pewterbaugh Street. Hello, so we're back and we're on Pewterbaugh Street. And you'll see here at the end of the cul-de-sac, the Keller residence built in 1947. It's 3,300 square feet, lot size a little over 8,700 square feet. Backdrops Point Loma, it's the bay, it's the ocean. Let's go ahead and look at it real quick. Mid-century modern masterpiece. Again, designed by Lloyd Ruoco, my favorite home in the neighborhood. Quite possibly my favorite home in San Diego. Just beautiful. Thank you guys for joining me today. This is my first time doing this, so Mission Hills is the first neighborhood. Please let me know if you wanna see your neighborhood featured next. Um, if you ever have any questions or wanna know more about real estate in the San Diego area, text me, call me, 858-232-6383. You can email me at matt.axelson at compass.com or you can go to my website, realestatewithax.com. Thanks so much.